This is dating advice for men. <laughs> oh, yes! Fuck <laughs> yeah! yeah. Right. Fucking start. Yes. Come on. Number one, make sure your lips is juicy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> make sure that shit is not crusty. I don't want no yep. chapness. No chapness. What up, guys? It's Laurel and my good friend Philippa. She is a makeup artist and hair stylist. And I conned her into joining my vlog. I feel like she's the perfect person for this. Philippa is newly single. She's really, really, <laughs> really pro at dating advice. Really pro? Pro. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I gave her dating advice. They broke up, um, like, re really recently, about a year ago. <laughs> yeah. So, still, still figuring out, you know. <laughs> we we have some common grounds on that. Yes, and today, do. specifically, um, I wanted to talk about blind dates. Which you've been on a few, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I knew what they look like, but like you didn't you didn't know them. You haven't met them yet. No. This is specifically dating advice for men. I mean, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they should listen. Yeah. Yeah. Please. All right. Well, I guess we'll start with. Okay, so I went on a blind date. A, a friend of mine from Seattle, which is, you know, you all know that's where I'm from. She told me about somebody who was very similar to me. So okay. she was like, you guys should meet. And I was like, yeah, okay, you know what? I've been in the dating game. I'm on as well. I feel like meeting through pe people through friends for me works better than meeting oh, people see, through. Oh, see, that's scary for me. It is scary. Because then it can like but ruin, it could potentially ruin friendships. Really? Yeah. I'm picky as fuck. I'm picky too. So, I'm picky like, too. if somebody's <laughs> like legit, I'm already OCD as it is. But at the same time, I kind of trust my friends that they're gonna at least choose somebody that I could possibly be into. No? Yeah. <laughs> she ain't into it. Yeah, no. <laughs> I, I love all of my friends, but. Well, I love you. I love you too. I don't think I would trust you for no? a date. No. Okay. <laughs> I gave her good but dating advice before and she listened. Dating advice, that's different. It is. But okay. actually meeting somebody? It's scary meeting somebody that you've never met before. The most recent one though was it's actually turning well, so I guess we'll talk about the bad ones. <laughs> Not the good ones, we can come back to the good ones. Um, I actually went on a blind date in June, and my mutual friend was like, oh yeah, I go to the bar all the time, like this certain bar, and I won't say which one, so y'all don't know who it is. <laughs> but um, she was like, yeah, he's super handsome, he's a filmmaker, I think you guys would get along great, blah, 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 and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go for it. I'd never, I'd never seen him, actually, I didn't even know what he looked like. Uh, he said he didn't have social media, and I was like, okay, whatever, I'm just gonna go for it. Um, and I just trusted my friends had good judgment and I met him and we actually got along really well It was really fun. He was very handsome um, He ended up you know, telling me everything I wanted to hear. Okay dating advice rule number one Don't tell a woman exactly what she wants to fucking hear. That's rude. Oh, you mean like a yes, man? Like a yes, man Like I said I wanted this and he was like yes, man, and I said no <laughs> You're lying <laughs> Here, and then ghosted me. At least just be honest and don't ghost her. Ghosting sucks, okay? The blind date itself went well, and then I like hung out with him for a couple months, and, and then he decided to tell me what I wanted to hear and ghost me. But <laughs> I had a date also that was a, I call it a yes man. A yes man. I so I got the term yes man, one of my clients. That's why I wanted her in here. She has her chair stories. Original date was supposed to be 5 a.m. gym workout. 5 a.m. gym workout? Yeah, because I wake up at 4.30 and oh, I go right. to the gym. Okay, I guess that makes so sense. So I was like, okay, let's see how spontaneous he is, if he would actually be okay. Yeah. Instead of, you know, the cliche... 5 a.m., that's commitment. And, and commitment that shows is, commitment, determination. It, is he really going to wake up that early? Because you that's hear my that? schedule. You hear that? Determination, commitment. It's important to us. He said yes. He's like, oh, if you're joking, I'm serious. And I said, yeah. Well, then he backed out on it. Let's just go to So he go ain't eat. committed. <laughs> yeah. So he's like, oh, no, I can't go that early. And I said, okay, that's fine. So we go to go eat. And he was... He was weird in the sense, like, it's good to give eye communication. Definitely. But... Eye communication. <laughs> not like... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That's scary. Right? Okay, you said scary. I thought he was a psychopath after this. I don't think he's a 
psychopath you don't stare <laughs> staring is rude show that you're show that you're communic or yeah. you're engaged in the conversation like some eye contact and then you like like even like movement here. like you're moving your yeah. arms you know being not just fluid. like a no, it I'm was here. yeah. I mean, it got to the point where I was like noticing chest hairs. Oh god, <laughs> like, evaluating like his outfit, and you know I'm trying to be like, mo moving so that, and he just <laughs> stiff. <laughs> It's kind of scary. It's scary. It's a little scary. Even it's when I'm welcoming. staring at you. Body language and, is important. And I'm not a dude, so yeah. like me as a woman looking at you and staring at you with not breaking any eye contact, it's it's really awkward. It's really Don't awkward. do that. Yeah. But he said, oh yeah, you know, I'm moving into, I got, I just moved into this new apartment and I have a dog. Oh, And he's like, great. yeah, this new apartment okay. allows dogs. And I was like, oh, okay. okay. So like, do you have a dog? And he's like, no. What? And I'm like, why would you bring that up? Like, why is that a thing? He's like, yeah, I, ha I have an apartment and allows dogs. And I'm like, it's dogs. Is he talking about my dog? Like, oh. it, are you talking about like moving in? Wow. Whoa. That's really fast. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, you gotta Whoa. get the flip side of this now, which Whoa. is that was the guy that did it. So the one guy that didn't do that and used it. Was <laughs> <laughs> I have to think of a time that a man did it well. <laughs> We've had a lot oh, of bad shit. dates. <laughs> it's been a lot of bad dates. A lot of bad dates. Dating's not my thing. I, I especially in LA, it's it's a world of its own. It's I guess I guess the good advice is like talk about your character and your personality, but when you get too personal, where it looks like you see yourself future-wise with this person, don't do it on the first date when no. you just meet them. Don't. Creepy Staring. eyes is staring stiffly with your body stiffly um, not breaking eye contact in a very psychotic way <laughs> in a very psychotic way <laughs> don't do that don't. so i think it's definitely important to keep eye contact with your date making sure that they feel special and that like your full attention is on them Right, I want yeah. full attention on me when I'm. But there's different on a date. ways to do full attention. It's yeah. like, you know, little caress of the shoulder, yes. maybe like a hand on the knee. Yeah, that's not up the knee. Yeah, not up on the knee. On the gentleman. There's a difference. There but is communicating in the sense where you're being fluid, like moving your hands, and it's not so. Don't be stiff when you're communicating and showing. It's okay the to be nervous. In the it's okay to be nervous. And know? that's why I crack jokes because yeah. when I can tell that they're nervous, I'm like, okay, I just want you to know, like, I'm just, I'm just a normal person. Yeah, I'm seeing someone that's not creepy. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Another blind date, actually. What's kind of funny about this is that it was the same friend that originally suggested the first guy. So I, I don't know why I had thought that the second suggestion was gonna be any better than the first. <laughs> okay. It was very gentlemanlike. He picked me up, you know, he opened the door. He asked me what my favorite food was, and I love food. Oh my and God, I said I Italian, and he brought me to an Italian place, and I was like, okay, he's listening. I had a really nice time, but I just didn't really vibe with him. But I don't think he understood my body language of being like, I'm not really into this. So after dinner, he asked me if I wanted to go on an adventure. And when he said adventure, I was thinking like, oh my gosh, we're about to like go to the ocean and I don't know, jump in the water at night or like do something crazy or something adventurous, you know, that you wouldn't really think right. of. Not like, let me take you to the Griffith Observatory and be romantic <laughs> <laughs> where there's a ton of tourists. A little weird and I, I wasn't, I don't know. Uh, maybe maybe it's me. Maybe I'm overthinking it and he was just being really nice or something. And I hung out with him again. Did not. How long did these dates last? Um, the second one was like maybe an hour or two. The first one was like four hours. I know. Four hours? Yeah, it was a long time. For a first date? Yeah. However, I just had a first date. I had never met him. I had seen pictures of him on Instagram, but through a friend. I ended up being with him for like 12 hours. I know. We vibed hard. Wow. Yeah, I went That's I, like overnight-ish. It's not like I, sp I went over there to spend the night or anything. It was more so like he asked me on a date. It was like four o'clock in the afternoon when we planned to meet together. Just like got food. We ran out of gas and we ended up. <laughs> I know. That's, that's 
that's pretty. We ran into gas. I first met him, and we were like downtown, right across the street from a detective parking lot. And the cops kept driving by, and we were like, "Why isn't anybody pulling us over?" And like the the windows were getting hot and steamy, even though we weren't doing anything, just because you're like sitting in a car. And I think that's why the cops didn't like that's stop like us. That's a really fun story, though. But we sat, and we ended up talking for hours, like two hours, and then we finally hit up his roommates, and like they brought us gas and yada yada. But we ended up going to his place because I was like, let's just like go kick it. Um, and I met his roommates, which they were both from Seattle too. And I just was like, well, that's awesome. And I vibed with that. And we like all had a blast till like 3, 4 a.m. watching Always Sunny in Philadelphia. It doesn't have to be super formal. That's no. like another thing. I feel like yeah. guys, when they date or when like, although, mm, you know, we do I live in LA. So we some, do. You know, some, there are some girls that want like. A majority of the girls in LA glam. want you to show up in a Bugatti and are like, I'm gonna take you to Boa and we're gonna do. Don't get me wrong, I love those. I love, I would think that'd be fun, but that's not like my jam. But yeah. he, you know, it is more important to me when it's like an experience with somebody and you're just having fun and it's just like natural. I you had know? a guy once ask me, what type of cars do you like? Like, is there a specific, and I'm like, do I look like a bougie? Right. And the guy didn't have a car. He, was, he didn't even have a car. Maybe he was a yes man and he was gonna get you any car you want and he's gonna pick you up in it. Girl, I've had some days. <laughs> he picked me up in a really old Toyota, like beat up stick drive Toyota truck. And I thought that was sexy. Cause I was like, yeah, okay. But like it felt yeah. like it wasn't like he was trying to like be over the top or like impressive, you know? Yeah. And I don't want a man to be that way. I think a good time for a first date is a couple hours. Cause it gives you a chance to like, depending on how it goes. Because if you really vibe, you can, you know, hang out like a friend hangout. Like when you do for hours. I mean, it depends if it's really shitty after 15 minutes, I'm like, ah, oh, mm -mm. I just don't it know depends. how to break the news to somebody that I'm just not feeling it. I guess then I just turn it into like a friendship type of thing where I'm like, I just get through. <laughs> and then I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I gotta go home. I don't wanna tell the world what my secret is. <laughs> I don't wanna tell the dudes. <laughs> I, but I would just somehow, like, I'm such a stoner, I go home and I'll be like, I need to go home and go to bed and like smoke some weed. <laughs> it's usually. I think you're great but I just see us more as friends. Mm -hmm. Like, What's crazy about that is there there isn't really a certain criteria to dating in LA though, like on first dates, because I went on this first date with this guy and we actually had spoken about how we were already talking about like how our faiths and sex and just like big topics that you usually don't talk about until you get to know somebody. But I feel like in LA, it's just like, people just like put their cards on the table and are like, this is me or they lie about who they are and they don't say anything about who they are. I also w went on a date with somebody who literally was like, here's my life. I live my life this way, whether you, you can join this or you can walk away from this. And I was like, okay, that's cool. Yeah, I hung around him because he was authentic and you know genuine about the way he felt. And I really thought that was unique because that doesn't happen a lot here. And I was like, well, I'll see where this goes. So I would say for a first date, three things that are super important to remember. Don't stare at people creepily. Mm -hmm. That's important. Be that's a gentleman. Right. And gentleman, what do you mean? Be a gentleman, open the door for her. Yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know Walk what gentlemen do. the street side. That is so important. I actually said that. Yeah. Walk on the street side, make sure she's in inside of the sidewalk. Yeah. We take note of. Absolutely. And then I would say for the third thing that was that's pretty important, read her, you know, whether she wants to go home or not. <laughs> So like evaluate like her body language. Evaluate like, her body language. Or maybe study body language. Go read a book on body language. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Watch a video on body language. <laughs> I would that. say number one is read the book Five Languages of Love. Oh gosh. I tell that to everyone. I do too. Absolutely. The five love languages, so important. They really so are. important. They really are. If just... you know or you can kind of gauge and tell once you figure it out. Yeah. Like that's like the whole pathway. Fucking soul sister. Yeah. You literally I'm took the words you. out of my mouth. Um, be authentic. But at the end of the day, like if we don't mesh well in the date and you're being authentic, we still respect you because you're being 100%. Totally. I want to be respected and I will respect others. Yeah. It's important. I think that's good. All right, go team. All right, deuces. <laughs>